about philosophy, do thinkers debating with big fancy words come to mind? Perhaps daydreamers pondering the ever-changing world around us? Funny, change is just what I want to talk about today. Precisely how philosophers use the observation of change, also called motion, as the base of a metaphysical demonstration for God's existence. Meta what a what? Metaphysical is in that which is beyond the material universe, what we perceive through our senses. And demonstration is just a fancy word for type of argument, one that produces certain knowledge. Yep, there are certain things we can know, though not perceive, by starting with an undeniable premise based in sense experience, like the fire is hot. On the topic of hot, let's talk about a hot topic, God's existence. Though a point of discussion from antiquity, let's move along to one of the most influential philosophers of all time, St. Thomas Aquinas. Ironically enough, one's called the dumb ox, but I've never heard of a smart ox. Let's not get caught up in oxymorons. St. Thomas Aquinas is remembered for his five demonstrations on God's existence. But today, we only have time for one, his argument for motion. First premise, some things are in motion here and now. Can you deny that? Didn't think so. St. Thomas was not just talking about physical motion, but change in the sense of something transitioning from potentiality to actuality. Uh, what? Let's use an example. Wood has the potential to become ashes and actually does if consumed by flames, but only has the potential to be ashes if not inflamed. So, change not only entails transition, but also a cause, what St. Thomas calls a mover, because the thing cannot move itself to what it lacks. But the mover is likewise being moved by something, which in turn is being moved by something, and so on. So what? Here's what. There cannot be an infinite series of movers. If there is not a first mover in the series, then we can't account for the series at all. But the existence of a first mover, however, implies that there is a being which is moved by nothing, which lacks nothing, and is the ultimate explanation for the process of change around us. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty perfect being, huh? Well, in fact, it is. And this being we call God.